From the Minnesota House Chambers to the steps of the, uh, the state capitol, a late night push to pass gun control in Minnesota is underway tonight. It is time that we do more to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people. Yes. Protect Minnesota is a group in favor of what it calls common sense gun laws. Leaders say tonight's rally was inspired by what is happening inside the Capitol. That is where Representative Aaron May Quaid is in the middle of a 24 hour vigil protesting the lack of action on gun reform bills. Jeff Wagner is live there right now. Jeff, I know uh, she started off alone in this mission today. Yeah, at 11.30, she was by herself, but over the course of the day, several lawmakers from both sides of the aisle, as well as her supporters, have joined her in this effort. She's demanding, of course, some action happen with these gun bills, even if it literally takes her all night. This is specific to background checks, and we have not had that bill on this floor. From a seated position, DFL Representative Erin May Quaid is taking a stand. She's demanding several gun reform bills at least go up for a vote, especially after a recent Star Tribune Minnesota poll found 90% of Minnesotans favor universal background checks. I think everyone should be concerned if a policy that is supported by 90% of Minnesotans can't get a vote on this floor. She also spent time telling the stories of gun violence victims like Burdell Beeks, who was caught in the crossfire in North Minneapolis in 2016. He should not have had a gun. My mom should be alive. My mom should be here. She meant the world to our family. Beeks' daughter, Bunny, along with Protect Minnesota, rallied outside the Capitol in support of Rep. May Quaid's efforts. The 24-hour sit-in has drawn the respect of pro-gun advocates, but not their support when it comes to voting on gun bills. Criminals are already circumventing the current background check process to acquire firearms. Adding additional layers to that is only going to affect law-abiding citizens, not criminals. Rob Dorr with the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus says 95% of its members are against the proposed legislation and says opposition to the bills also comes from both sides of the aisle. This should be um, a thing where all of us come together and, and, and resolve. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Now, Representative May Quaid will be here until 1130 tomorrow morning. She said even if her protest doesn't lead to action, she's at least glad she had the opportunity to once again tell the stories of those gun violence victims. Well, she's certainly getting a lot of attention. Uh, Jeff, live at the Capitol. Thank you.